Hey guys, Anthony, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the importance of placing a stop loss and a take profit and exactly how to do that on TradingView. So if you aren't using a stop loss or a take profit yet, you will be after this video. So without further ado, let's dive into it. All right, so we're on TradingView. This is NQ on the chart. And at the bottom, I just clicked on the paper trading. So I don't know if you know this, but uh, on TradingView at the bottom, you can link any brokerage. You can, if you have any Apex accounts, you can trade Apex funded accounts on TradingView. I've done that in the past, and it'll basically look like this right here. If I drag this up, you can see all this, but then the chart gets small. So I'm gonna drag this back down. At this point, all I do is press trade, and you can see uh, down low, it'll show your orders, but I'll press trade, and then a window comes up on the side. And this is how you trade on TradingView, and this is, this is what you'll wanna do every time you place a trade. So let's say you're gonna go place a buy. You could have it on market or, or limit, whatever you're gonna do, but I make sure no matter what every single trade has a take profit on it and every single trade has a stop loss on it predefined and then you, i can i drag it around and move it around but at least always have it on the screen this is honestly the first step of becoming a profitable trader because if you don't have a stop loss when you place a trade then there's a high probability that when the trade goes against you and it goes to your theoretical stop loss you don't actually close the position and you let it drag down you say oh i think it's going to come back later never comes back later and blows your entire account so just get into the habit of always having a stop loss on always having a take profit on once you click those checked on then you can set the amount of ticks so one tick is a quarter of a point on nasdaq um, same thing on es one tick is a quarter of a point so four ticks is one point uh, I'd always just kind of do 60 and 60 by default. So that just means that I have a 15 point take profit, 15 point stop loss. And then I'll usually use the, the bid or the ask. Um, you could do plus one or just the bid or the ask. That's for another video. But all I'm saying is we want to make sure we always have take profit, stop loss whenever we place a trade. So that's how we press buy, right? Instantly orders placed and then you can see the stop loss and you can see the take profit. and at that point, you can go ahead and drag it. So as an example, let's say we got in this long here at 470 and you want, it to, you, you want your stop loss to be below some wicks. At least we have it on the screen here. Then we can drag it down and say modify order. And then you can see, okay, my stop loss is below all of the, the wick lows to the left. And then I want my take profit to be, let's say new high above these highs here. I drag it up, modify, boom, done. Don't have to think anymore. Let the tray play out. Don't press any buttons. That is the, honestly, that's what took me from being unprofitable to profitable because I went two years trading without a stop loss, right? I had a mental stop loss, but every time I noticed there were there would come a time where I would be in a trade and then it went to my stop loss. I thought it would come back and I would give it more time and it would just be deeper and deeper in red and then I would end up swing trading it. So basically a trade that wasn't supposed to be a swing trade turned into a swing trade because I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna hold it for X amount of time because it's supposed to come back, it should come back, and it just goes deeper into deeper into red and wipes out three months of my profit in one trade. And I was stuck in that phase for one year. I, I would have been profitable after the first year, but then I spent a year making money and then losing three months in one trade. And I, I spent a whole year being break even just because I was stubborn and I, I didn't have any stop loss already preset. If I always had the stop loss preset, then I wouldn't have had that those conversations with myself and I wouldn't have turned the trade into a swing trade. I would have just been out of the trade and then I would have watched for the next setup. And that's what would have taken me profitable. So I basically would have saved a full year if I just started doing this from the start, um, but I didn't. So I'm passing this down to you. So that way you can use these stop loss and take profit on, on every single trade. Get, just get in the habit now, place them on, and then you're done, right? And it's very easy on trading view. You can just drag it. These exact same setup is on NinjaTrader. So I use NinjaTrader, I use a copy trader, and I already have the ATM setup where every time I get in a trade, it automatically puts the stop loss and the take profit on the screen. And I do the same thing, I'll drag it. And when I drag it, it moves the stop loss on all of my accounts. So it's very simple to use. And then you can cancel the order anytime. And you can also see your orders. You can see down here, orders, it says three. You can click on your orders and see which are still active and there'll, you'll see that there's three orders. There's my buy limit, there's my stop, and there's my uh, take profit up top, which we can't see now because uh, the market's closed right now. So it's not, it didn't put me in the trade, obviously. So you can cancel, say I wanna cancel that, cancel, right? And then it takes it all off. Very simple, very simple. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about this, but this video is just all about why 
we need to be using a stop loss and a take profit on every single trade and then sticking to that, you know, building the discipline to sticking to our stop loss because that's a skill in itself, right? You can, you can have a stop loss, but then you can take it off or you can have a stop loss and you can move it, right? So just great habit is to always have a stop loss and take profit in on every single trade and then stick to it. Build that discipline. Let me know in the comments down below if you use a stop loss or are you struggling with that yet? Do you, you know, do you just get in a trade and say, hey, I'm going to close it if it goes here, but you don't actually have a stop loss on? Let me know what you use. Hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.